Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use that Expo linking package to add links to different websites, um, phone numbers, emails and SMS so that you can open them in the native app and perform those actions from your React Native Expo apps. So I'm installing this Expo linking package and importing OpenURL from it and I'm going to have this button on press and on press I'm going to open a URL. It can be any URL that you want it to be. And then you give the button a title. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that and I'll show the button on screen. So now I've got the button, I can click it and it opens up the website. You can see that that's a um, that the SSL certificates um, expired there, so I'm going to go and just show you one with a valid SSL certificate, so it looks a little bit better. So I'm just going to link you to the Expo documentation on linking. You can also actually do linking to your mobile app, and if you're wanting to hear more about that. Let me know in the comments and I'll make another video on that. So if I save that, I'll be able to open that linking guide. You can see it opens the Expo documentation to the linking guide. Now I'm going to want to show you how to do a email. So I'm press once again. I'm going to open URL. But this time I'm going to prefix it with mail to, and that's going to trigger it to open the correct app which would be the mail app. I don't actually have this installed on the simulator so it's not actually going to work um, but I'll show you that first. If I were to go test on a device with the mail app installed this would work. I'll give that a title as well. I'll just call it email. So you can see that email button's appeared now, and if I click, then it shows that there's um, an unhandled promise, and that's because it failed to open. You can actually check whether you can open a URL using this can open URL, and you just pass it the URL that you're going to try and open. You can use this to disable the button if you don't want to be able to send an email, so like if you can't because you can't actually open it because there's no mail app installed. So yeah, I got this um, error and it was because I have to um, actually handle the promise because can open URL is a function that can take a little bit amount of time. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have a state variable to store whether I can email or not. And I'm also going to have a um, function that will set that can open email state variable and I will check whether I can open the URL and when that promise resolves it will give me back whether I can or not so true or false and then from there I can set the can open email state variable um, using that set can open email function which will in turn trigger the UI to reload and re-render. So I'm adding this dot then and the um, it takes in a function with the result which is going to be can open and what to do with that. So what I want to do with that is like I said earlier is set can open email which will trigger the UI re-render. So I'm going to use that value of can open here. 
then I'm going to disable my button dependent on the value of can open email. Oops, you can see that's still enabled and it's because I actually need to say disabled if I can't open the email, so not can open email. Cool, you can see that the email button is now disabled. So now I'm going to do a phone call, handling phone calls. So you do this the same way once again, you're gonna call open URL, but this time you're just going to prefix it with the telephone prefix. TEL and then you're just going to pass it a number. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give that a, tell, a title and I'm going to call that call fake number and then I'm going to go ahead and save and the button should appear on screen. If I click on that, it's going to give me an unhandled promise exception. And that is because it once again can't um, call because I'm using that simulator. Uh, so I need to go ahead and do the same state variable thing, but for the, um, for the calling. So I'm going to have the state variable can open telephone and set can open telephone. And I'm going to do pretty much the same as I did for the email address. If I were to do this on my actual device, it would be able to call. And so the button wouldn't be disabled because um, obviously you can make phone calls from a real device. I need to specify the phone number that I'm going to try and call. Then I can do this dot then so that with the result of whether I can open that email or not, that um, telephone number or not, I can set that can open telephone state variable and they'll trigger the re-render and disable the button once I've added this um, disabled property to the button. So I want it disabled if I can't open the telephone. So not can open telephone. You can see that that button's now disabled. Finally, I'm going to do SMS. So I'm going to do very much the same thing, but I'm going to text the fake number this time. And instead of tell, I need SMS, and that's going to trigger it up to open up messages. Messages is actually installed on the simulator, so it is actually going to open up that messages, and you can sort of see it here. And now I'm just showing you this in the actual device. It sort of worked for loading up the email, but it didn't actually quite fully work because I didn't have the app installed. But for messages it worked and for call it popped up the call button. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.